Hi. So if you're someone who is very particular about your personal hygiene, you would know that one of the issues um, that you would have is the use of public toilets um, that you don't have control of. Um, so that's what we're going to be talking about today. My name is Kauthar. I'm going to be talking to you about things you can do and ways you can protect yourself while you're using public toilets. Now, a lot of us, if you're working in a public place or you're running your business in a public area and you feel the need to use the toilets, oftentimes you go and find um, a toilet messed up. And I don't know why that is because um, ladies, like where I used to work in, a, in, in an environment where um, there were lots of people in, you know, very, very many people in that environment. And sometimes you go to the bathroom to use um, the toilet and you just find it, that either the seat is littered with urine or even the floor and i that, that that particularly does not make sense to me because i don't know why anybody would go to a place like that use the bathroom mess it up and just leave it like that as a woman it means I, like i can't even imagine what your toilet is like at home if you can do that and just walk away not considering the people who would come and clean it uh, the cleaners or pe the people coming to use it after you so um in view of that, I'm going to be letting you know things you can do to protect yourself. A lot of people complain about um, toilet infection, you know, and that's one place you can pick up a whole lot of things and, you know, start uh, getting sick. So as a lady, if one thing you should always have, or two things rather that you should always have in your bag or with you if you're leaving your house is um, pocket size or portable tissue and hand sanitizer. If you don't know what I'm talking about, this is what I'm talking about. Get something like this and then get, you know, a small size um, hand sanitizer. That would help you. Um, first things first. If you're going to a public toilet, you're going to use a public toilet. You have to, whatever measures you're going to take starts with the door. As you get to the door, do not even use your hand to open it don't it's either you pick from this tissue or you do like me i usually would use hair to open the door this is because you don't know who's touched the door you know how many people have touched it what's on their hands while they touched it so the first thing you do is to use this but if for some reason you find that you you, you couldn't and i don't know why you, you couldn't use hair or a tissue to protect your hands and opening it once you get into there the first thing you do is wash your hands Unfortunately, so many public toilets here don't have soap. They don't put soap there. And even where they put, some people come and steal them. So the first thing you need to do is wash your hands before you do anything, you know, or sanitize your hand since just plain water won't cut it now. Do that. And then when you get to the toilet, whether or not you see dirt or urine or whatever on the seat, do not sit on it. Take out one of this, put some of this on it, and then clean around it. Clean around it and, and, and leave it for a few seconds before you sit on it. Personally, I don't sit on toilet seats and public toilets. I don't, no matter what. The only time I'll probably do that is, oof, maybe I have diarrhea and I can't make it home. That's the only reason. But besides that, even if I bathe the seats with sanitizer or whatever disinfectants that is there i would never sit on it so it's best you even you know just avoid that but ultimately you need to get this and like i said if you finish if you clean leave it for some seconds before you sit down and use when you're done um do your thing but i don't sit on it and you wonder how, how i do it I actually squat i squat to use the bathroom and Sometimes when you do that, you actually mess the seat up. So it is important that when you're done, you check to see if you left a mess. If you did, do the same thing. Clean it with this thing. Don't be like the person who used and didn't clean. And, you know, just clean and leave it neat for somebody else who is coming to use. Now, when you're done with that, it goes to, it is, it is expected that you would wash your hands. But I'll let you know that there are so many people who do not bother washing their hands when they go to the bathroom they just come out do their thing and just walk away and that's a very terrible 
um, practice because the same people would go out, either shake people, you know, sometimes pat you on the shoulder, or even when you're eating, they want to put their hands and pick what you're eating. That's why I don't, I don't play with what I put in my mouth. Nobody would do that with me, okay? So what you do next is to wash your hands, expectedly. But to even do that, there's a way to it. It's not just going to, you know, just wash your hands and then be plain water and think that everything is fine. No. What you'll do, the faucet, I mean the tap head now. You don't use your hand. Or rather, you. a lot of us will just go open it, you know, wash our hands, do that, and then just close back. Now you've washed your hands, but you have also picked up bacteria from doing what you just did by um, closing the tap head or the faucet or bringing it down. What I do, if it's a faucet that lifts up and down, again, I use here. Okay, I use here to lift and then I, I use to close. If it is the tap that turns to close, what you can do is actually pick one of your tissue, hold it in your hand, close. All right? That way you're not in contact with anything like when you enter that toilet, public toilet, make sure your hands do not touch. Your hand does not touch anything. Protect your hands as much as possible. So when you do that, do not th throw this tissue that you use the way you're still going to use it. You're still going to have to get out of that toilet and you're going to have to touch the knob of that door. So when you do that, take the tissue and when you're on your way out, again, if you can't use this, Use the tissue. Use it to open and, you know, go. Along the corridor or something, you'll find um, a bean and just dispose of it. So but what I'm trying to say basically is for, especially ladies, you need to have these two things, okay? This thing isn't that expensive. It's it's a pack of 12. It comes in a pack of 12 and um, it's sold for less than a thousand naira. So you can just buy it if you have like two three bags that you carry often you can just throw them inside so you don't forget for the men this might not really concern you but i'll, I'll have you know that sometimes it it's best if you use the bathroom and use tissue to dab your penises so that's why when some of you do these things you actually eat that thing on the seat if you go to a, a, a toilet that a man used most often you will find urine on it but if you use this and just use to clean the tip of your penis, you don't have anything to worry about. Here. You don't have to do this. This also is really cheap. It's not as expensive as it was when coronavirus um, broke out. You can get this. Basically, this whole um, hand washing thing is something you have to imbibe beyond coronavirus. A lot of people don't wash their hands. So we go to the market, we come back, we, we've, we come into contact with a lot of people, we don't wash our hands. You go out, you count money, you know, exchange monies with people. You don't wash your hands. I, I don't know how people live that like that. No. This uh, hand picks so many things that you cannot even believe. You you want to hop a bus or public transport. You're opening the door. Somebody, so many people have opened, touched that thing you used to open the door. So you need to be very careful. Now, importantly, ladies, um, stop asking a fellow lady to give you tissue. Okay, to use to go to the bathroom. And when I mean tissue, I'm not even talking about this one. Sometimes you just approach a lady and go like, please, can you give me tissue? And she's rolled up tissue and put in her bag. First of all, you don't know the condition of her hands when she rolled the tissue. You don't know what's been going on in the bag where the tissue is. You also do not know how long that tissue has been in her bag. And you just collect it, go use the bathroom and then use it to clean. And tomorrow you're, you're complaining about yeast infection. All right. Even the quality of the tissue matters. Okay, that's why I'm very particular about this one. It is really soft and then um, lacks particles, or at least it's not very pronounced. But some you'll see that if once you just touch them, they just bring out things. So you need to be very careful about that. Don't quit borrowing tissue from fellow man. Always have yours. Always have yours. I know sometimes it's crazy. Even if you're someone who does not um, hold bags or carry purses like me, you can. This is some, like I said, it's pocket size. You can just put it in your pocket. This one, just put it in your pocket and just go. You know, keep yourself safe. It's the least you can do while you're out there. When you get home, you, you know what's going on. You know how to control these things. But since you don't have control over that, this is measures that you can take to protect um, yourself. All right? Um, like I said, once you end, as from the door, don't touch anything. 
and it is important that you wash your hands before you even use the bathroom a lot of people don't know that they don't do it wash your hands first use the bathroom when you're done you wash your hand again and like i said like we all know it's not everywhere that you have water and that's why this sanitizer is um comes in handy again so you just use it alternately alternatively till you get home and and it won't, let me let me state this do not apply sanitizer or on wet hands no you have to let the water dry up if not it actually kills the potency of this product let your hands dry out first before you apply um the sanitizer so like i always say keep safe be good and stay healthy